Hello and welcome to another video in the Money Magic Make Your Money Work For You series. My name is Aoife Gaffney and I am one of the tutors with the Education Training Board. Today's video is about making a spending plan and making a spending plan that works for you. But I have a few extra suggestions that I'm hoping you enjoy. You can find a sample template on my website if you go to prudencemoneypunny.com forward slash spending plan. It will bring you to a sample template. So what you need to do when you open this up is you make a copy. So you do file, make a copy and make a copy that works for you. You can use Google Sheets, which is what this has been designed in. You can use a regular spreadsheet, pen and paper, your favorite notebook, back of an envelope, it doesn't matter. How you do it doesn't matter. What matters is that you make a plan and stick to it. What's important as well is that you make it your own. So use headings, colors, titles, pictures, things that you, suit you. There are no rules. It's also a handy place to keep goals and things that you want to save for. Because if you're looking at this every day, it helps to keep your mind focused. So you can use it like a combination of a personal spending plan and the vision board or uh, a dream board. And this is between you and you. It's not between you and the bank manager or the tax office or anybody else. This is, this is an exercise entirely and exclusively for you. So it doesn't matter how you do it. What matters is that you do. You can do, you can plan daily, weekly, monthly, uh, whatever works, it doesn't matter. What is important is that you pay yourself first and this sends a very powerful message to your unconscious mind that you are the most important person. So on the second sheet here, this is, just remember this is a sample template so it's, it's you can, these are just suggestions and you can design it the way that works for you. So in the top section here, we have money coming in. So let's say we're in the month of June and we're going to list all of the places that money could come in from. So maybe your monthly salary is 600 euro. And you have a social welfare payment of 100 euro. So money can come in from various different places. Maybe there's contribution from a family member or uh, you have a couple of different jobs or you have a couple of different roles it doesn't really matter where the money is coming in from what matters is that you record it and so for this family there is 700 euro coming in for the month of june and if more money comes in let's say halfway through june more money comes in you simply add it to the sheet now the pay myself first ideally aim to pay yourself about 10 percent of the money that comes in and a super simple way of working out 10 percent is you just knock off uh, knock off a zero. So 10% of 70 of 700 is 70 euro. If that amount seems like an awful lot to put into savings, then put 50 or 20 or five. The amount is not really quite so important. What matters is that the first person or thing that you pay, the minute money comes into your life, that means into your wallet, into your hand, into your bank account, or however way money finds its way into your life, is the first person, the first bill you pay is yourself. So for this exercise, I'm going to, to pay myself 50 euro. Now I haven't, I'm not spending any money, all I'm doing is just making a plan. And as I'm putting in the numbers, I want you just to keep an eye on this number here. So we want to keep going, we want to plan to spend 700 euro until this number goes to zero. And I like to use inspiring headings. Headings. So instead of rent or mortgage, I'll use my home. I mean, home could be, it could be a room, it could be an apartment, it could be home essentially is, is where you put your hat. So let's say for this example, I'm paying 250 euro. And in my, in my home, I want to have hot water and I like to have light. 
costs. So I'm going to put about 100 euro towards utility costs. And I want to feed my body. I want to feed my body healthy food. And then I might want to go places. So I might use a combination of fuel for my car or I could use maybe a leap card. So put about 50 euro into that. And instead of just saying insurance, I'm going to focus on what insurance gives me. So insurance gives me safety. It gives me security. So in my case, I have home insurance and I have car insurance and I have a few other insurances. So let's say I put about 30 euro each month towards my insurances. So what I'm putting 30 euro each month towards safety and security, not into insurance. And when I use this language, I use slightly different language. It, it makes me feel more in control that I am choosing to invest in my own safety and security. It's not somebody else telling me what to do with my money. Now, I also like to feed my mind as well as my body. So I'm going to put about 10 euro into education because that for me is very important. And that could be a book, it could be a subscription, it could be uh, it could be an online course, it could, it could be anything, but I like to feed my mind as much as I like to feed my body. And if you have a loan payment, let's say for the, this family have a loan payment of about 40 euro, and then we put 20 euro into saving for the future. Now you may have more items on the list, you might have less items. So no money has left the bank account yet. This is simply a plan. So as you spend money, make the adjustments. So let's say at the end of the month, we spent 90 euro on light and heat. So that actually gave, there was a surplus. It was an extra 10 euro. So I thought, well, I'm going to put five euro extra into knocking off that loan. And I'm going to put an extra five euro into saving. So I haven't spent any more or any less than 700 because this number is still zero. So as I spend, I record and then I adjust. So as long as the money out matches the money in, that's true financial peace. Now on the next sheet, and this is, again, this is completely optional. I sometimes make what I call my ideal spending plan. So I plan out the life that I really, really want to live. So I might be adding in things like holidays and uh, what else are the things that I would really, really like to do, experiences. So I make a list of all of the things that I'd really, really like to spend money on. So I don't actually really want to spend money for this example. My goal would be absolutely to be completely and utterly rent and mortgage free. So I'm going to make that a zero. And that you know, the things that I would really, really in my dream life, instead of having loan repayments, I would have a team of helpful people. So in my dream home, I have a beautiful garden and I have a beautiful pool and I have somebody who comes in to help me maybe once a week, whatever. So I have my team. Of helpful people and let's say I put 200 euro into that and experiences I want to spend 150 euro a month on experiences so I keep going so in my dream life and this is a very short example so I need about 350 euro for my my dream life I think my dream life is going to cost me so something more than that what well, doesn't really matter. What I'm doing is working out the cost of the life that I truly, truly want to live. And that's a life of absolute freedom with no, with no debt, with no loan repayments, with no mortgages, with no, with no rent, no nothing. And I just keep going and I, I work that cost out. And then I say, okay, well, this is the amount of money that I need to earn to have that dream life. So remember, this is your personal spending plan. It's not a budget because for me, a budget feels 
very restrictive. So it's a word I will very rarely use. This is my personal spending plan. This is me as a person. And I'm using words that make more sense to me. So I'm using words like freedom and safety and security. So I'm focusing on the end goal rather than the thing in itself. Have a go. How you use the template is entirely up to you. The words and language that you use are entirely up to you. These are simply suggestions to make planning your spending a little easier and to make planning your spending a little more fun. And remember, we get what we focus on. Enjoy the template.